according to an old Aztec fable. A small fire quickly got out of control and began to consume a forest. As the flames spread, the animals began to flee. An owl, making its own escape, noticed a small bird, a pencil, constantly flying back and forth between the river and a section of the burning forest. Are you crazy, the owl hooted? The forest is burning. You must leave at once. But the little red and green bird, bird ignored the owl's warning and returned to the river, where it gathered the drops of water in its beak before flying over the brush to release the droplets on the flames. The owl flew down and met the Quetzal bird at the water's edge. What do you think you're doing? The best I can with what I have. That's a good answer for you and me to hear. You try to do the best with what you got. And that was his model. The best I can do. Bird replied as gathered a few more drops of water in its tiny bee and returned to the flames. Inspired by Quetzal's courage and determination, the owl began to help. And soon the other animals decided to pitch in and help. And even humans joined them. And the great fire was conquered. Three cheers for the little bird. Three cheers for the widow and her perseverance. Neither one of them gave up. Each one took the gifts that they had and used it for something better. And today, Jesus talks about that type of courage and determination that he sees in his disciples. So the little Quetzal possesses a spirit of hope and optimism that Jesus asks of us, asks of his disciples. In today's Gospel, Jesus praises the widow's perseverance in fighting for what is right and just and assures us that when we act out of love, the Spirit of God will be with us in all of our struggles. To find the words, the courage to confront evil and hurt to challenge those who threaten to harm us and those we love. All of us have seen this perseverance in our own experiences, in our only lives, in parents who continue to love their sons and daughters despite the messes they make in their lives. We have seen it in couples who will not quit on each other, but work together to mend their marriages. We've seen it in those quiet, committed souls who do their jobs conscientiously, not because of money or demanding supervisors, but because they know whatever they do matters and makes a difference to other people. Jesus honors such perseverance in the conviction that what is just and right of God 
must reign throughout the world. We possess faith that empowers us with hope, with courage, enabling us to persevere despite the overwhelming, overpowering, and overwhelming despair or anger or ridicule, hatred, and evil that we encounter around us. So deep, Jesus honors the widow for her perseverance, knowing that justice has to be done. And she's committed with what little power she has to influence people she uses. And Jesus recognizes that. In her, he will recognize it in you and me. That whatever we have, if we turn it to the betterment of the people around us, the gospel message honors us. That that's what we ought to do. Even the little bird got the idea that he didn't have much. He was small. He had a little beak that could carry a little water to put out a forest fire. You'd say, like the owl in the story, are you serious? You're not going to make much difference. But the little bird, I'll use what God gave me. And I'll use it for others, for the betterment. And that's who I am. That's what I'm about. For the ordinary person, I don't seem to make much difference. But it matters. It matters to doing something, to do what the Lord wants of that bird at that time. So Jesus honors the widow who never gave up, who knew what was right, and was going to fight for what is right. That she'll be a disciple. She'll do what she can with what little bit that she has. The talents God gave her. Jesus will honor us if we fight for justice. If we take what we have and we use what he has given us. And we try to make a difference in the lives of other people. And that's the disciple. That's the one Jesus wants to honor today. And he wants us to go in his name. So we honor. We honor that widow. We honor all of those birds. And probably in the story, you're the little bird that you do what you can. And you know the Lord gives you a gift to use. Are you using your gifts? Does it matter? Jesus says, you better believe it. Your faith tells you that. You make a difference. Use what you have. And go out there and don't worry about the ones who don't care. Jesus cares, you care. 